Okay, this film uh, is in response to a request from Lizzie um, just to uh, explain how to move files around on a Mac, how to uh, take uh, files off a memory stick and how to save to a memory stick. So, um, right, let's start with memory sticks. Um, if you plug them uh, into a USB port and uh, you'll notice that an icon will come onto uh, the desktop. In this case, um, you'll see I've actually named my memory stick uh, just because sometimes you use more than one uh, at the same time. Um, so uh, that is how you recognize a memory stick is on. Um, to open it or to get a file from it, just double click on the memory stick and it will spring into action and you can then see all the folders and images that are on it. Um, so, and then it's just a case of um, thinking about dragging and dropping. So say for example this file here that's highlighted in blue, I've clicked once on that. If I want to move it into the Lyrical Ballads folder to tidy things up, I can just drag it. You'll notice the Lyrical Ballads folder has now gone blue and if I drop it, it's gone into that folder. Um, if I want to open um, a any items in there, I just double click on them and it will find whichever program is relevant to that file. So uh, let's just pick out, this is an, some advice from the exam, examining board. So if I double click on that and you'll see that it will open. Okay, it's all pretty straightforward. Um, let's just close that. Uh, another question was how to um, save stuff to um, a uh, memory stick. So there's lots of different ways that you can do this. So if you imagine, let's pick a file at random. Uh, let's see, something in the documents folder. Uh, so let's go to school, trainings and workshops. And I want, I've want i got a document here called iMovie Workflow, which shows you how to work through the different stages. And I want to put it on a memory stick. All I have to do, I just drag it and drop it. And you'll see it will be added to the memory stick. If I want to go another stage further, I might want to add it to a particular folder in the memory stick, in which case I can do that. Right, let's just uh, click off and ignore that, and we'll go back to that. So, we want to locate a particular file that we've got on the laptop, and we want to put it on the memory stick. So, if we go a couple of steps back, uh, let's say, for example, uh, we want to get a different file. So, I can just follow the different links. So, I can go to school, maybe something to do with the Deaf Support Centre and uh, there's an extremely uh, dull document, the Greenwich um, Young Person's Transition and I want to put that on my memory stick. So I click on it and I keep my finger click down, I drag it across, put it onto the memory stick and if I just let go you'll see that it's gone in there now. Um, it may be that I want to make a folder for lots of other things. So say for example I've got all of these documents here that are to do with my uh, A-level English exam. If I click on the little cogwheel I can go to new folder and I can type in a name for that so I can say year 13 exam and all I need to do then I can drag them in and put them into that folder. Now I've got six there, it's going to be a little bit laborious to do that one by one. If I click on the first one, hold down the shift button and click on the last one, you'll see it will do all the ones between the first and the last. If I decide I don't actually want the third one down but I want to keep the other ones, if I press the command button I can deselect one of them or reselect one of them and then I can drag them into that folder. So you can see it's beginning to tidy things up a little bit. So I hope that begins to answer some of the questions that you've got. If it doesn't, then just send me an email and um, I'll see whether we can make a different film.